The University of Surrey is a public research university in Guildford, Surrey, United Kingdom. The university is interdisciplinary, with a science and engineering heritage. It received its charter on 9 September 1966, and was for more than 60 year prior near Battersea Park in south-west London. The institution was known as Battersea College of Technology before gaining university status. Its roots, however, go back to the Battersea Polytechnic Institute, founded in 1891 to provide further and higher education for London's poorer inhabitants. More recently, the university launched the Surrey International Institute with Dongbei University of Finance and Economics. The university's main campus is on Stag Hill close to the centre of Guildford and adjacent to Guildford Cathedral. A second campus, at Manor Park, is a short distance away and has been developed to expand upon existing accommodation, academic buildings, and sporting facilities. The annual income of the institution for 2016–17 was £267.3 million of which £40.3 million was from research grants and contracts, with an expenditure of £260.9 million. The university is a major centre for satellite and mobile communications research. In March 2014, the British Prime Minister David Cameron announced a partnership between the University of Surrey, King's College London and the University of Dresden for the development of 5G technology. The university is a member of the Association of MBAs, the European University Association and Association of Commonwealth Universities. The university has 10 Fellows of the Royal Society, 21 Fellows of the Royal Academy of Engineering, 1 Fellow of the British Academy and 6 Fellows of the Academy of Social Sciences. History Battersea Polytechnic Institute The University of Surrey was preceded by the Battersea Polytechnic Institute which was founded in 1891 and admitted its first students in 1894. Its aim was to provide greater access to further and higher education for some of the «poorer inhabitants» of London. In 1901, evening classes consisted of some of the following – mechanical engineering and building, electrical engineering, chemical and other trades, physics and natural science, maths, languages, commercial subjects, and music. Special classes for women in domestic economy subjects. Day classes in art, science, women's subjects and gymnastics. Classes in preparation for university and professional examinations. Also, Science Day School for Boys and Girls, Commercial School for Girls, Training School for Domestic Economy and Training for Teachers." The Institute focused on science and technology subjects, and from about 1920 taught some classes for University of London students. The Institute awarded University of London external degrees. Battersea College of Technology In 1956, the Institute was among the first to receive the designation, "'College of Advanced Technology' and was renamed Battersea College of Technology. By the beginning of the 60s, the college had virtually outgrown its building in Battersea and had decided to move to Guildford. In addition to this, the Robbins Report of 1963 proposed that the colleges of advanced technology, including Battersea, should expand and become degree awarding universities. In 1965, the University Designate acquired a greenfield site in Guildford from Guildford Cathedral, Guildford Borough Council, and the Onslow Village Trust.
Topic: <laughs> University. On 9 September 1966 the University of Surrey was established by Royal Charter and by 1970 the move from Battersea to Guildford was complete. On the day before the installation ceremony of the first Chancellor of the University of Surrey, the Aberfan disaster occurred. Alfred Robbins, Baron Robbins of Woldingham who was appointed the first Chancellor, was also the Chairman of the National Coal Board, and as such was expected to visit the site of the disaster. Robbins decided instead to continue with the ceremony in Guildford to become Chancellor. Early visitors to the new campus were Led Zeppelin, who performed their very first gig at the university on the 25th of October 1968. Between 1982 and 2008, the university became the trustee of the building of the Guildford Institute, using parts of the building for its adult education program and providing a university presence in the heart of Guilford. The Assessment and Qualifications Alliance formerly Associated Examining Board moved from Aldershot to its own headquarters building on the Stag Hill campus in 1985. The university marked its Silver Jubilee in 1991, an event celebrated by the publishing of Surrey, The Rise of a Modern University by Roy Douglas and by a service of thanksgiving in Guildford Cathedral attended by him the Queen in March 1992. In 1998, due to the ongoing development in the relationship between the university and the nearby Roehampton Institute, it was decided to form an academic federation. In November 1999, the Privy Council approved the necessary changes to the university's charter and statutes and the Roehampton Institute became the University of Surrey-Roehampton at the beginning of 2000. Between 2000 and 2004, the University and Roehampton worked together as the Federal University of Surrey. In June 2004, the Privy Council granted Roehampton an independent university title, and it became Roehampton University from 1 August 2004. This move ended the federal partnership between the two institutions. The university celebrated its 35th anniversary in May 2002 with a major event in Guildford Cathedral. It was also marked by the unveiling of the Surrey Scholar Sculpture by Alan Sly FBS to mark the Golden Jubilee of Her Majesty the Queen and as a gift to the people of Guildford. The Surrey Scholar is at the bottom of Guildford High Street. Understanding the Real World, A Visual History of the University, by Christopher Pick, was published to coincide with this anniversary. In 2007, the university saw a major increase in overall applications by 39% compared with the previous year. This was followed by a further increase in applications of 12% in 2008. In October 2008, the university lost out to Royal Holloway in a bid to merge with London Medical Institute St George's, University of London. From September 2009, the Guildford School of Acting became a subsidiary of the university and relocated from Guildford Town Centre to the university campus. In March 2019 the university announced it would have to make £15 million worth of cuts and was offering redundancy to all staff owing to effects of Brexit and anticipated cuts in tuition fees. Campus The university moved in 1968 to a new 30 hectares 74 acre site on Stag Hill in Guildford, adjacent to Guildford Cathedral. A further 90 hectares 222 acres allocated to the university remained undeveloped until 2005. The new Manor Park campus, designed as a car-free village, is 1.6 kilometers, 1 mile from the Stag Hill campus and on the other side of the A3 Trunk Road. It combines residences for students and staff, buildings for research and teaching, and sporting facilities. 
The BBC's local radio station for Surrey and North East Hampshire, BBC Surrey, has its studios on the campus. In addition the university has a student-run medium wave radio station, Stag Radio. In September 2009, the Guilford School of Acting moved into a new purpose-built facility on the main Stag Hill campus as part of a strategic merger between the two organizations. The old sports center was converted into the Ivy Arts Center, a performing arts facility housing a 200-seat theater and studio and workshop space. School of Veterinary Medicine In October 2015, the £45 million School of Veterinary Medicine was opened by him the Queen accompanied by HRH the Duke of Edinburgh. <laughs> Surrey Sports Park In April 2010, a £36 million sports centre named the Surrey Sports Park opened to replace the former Unisport facilities on the Stag Hill campus. Surrey Sports Park is situated close to the main university campus, on its Manor Park site. It houses a 50 metre swimming pool, three multi sports halls, six squash courts, a modern gym, three artificial floodlit pitches, outdoor tennis courts, a climbing centre, and a coffee shop, bar, and restaurant. The 1,000 seat indoor arena is home to Surrey Scorchers basketball team, formerly Guilford Heat, Surrey Heat, and Surrey United, who have been using the venue since 2010 following a move from their previous home at Guilford. Spectrum. Surrey Scorchers are one of the leading teams and former winners of the British Basketball League, the country's top division. It also plays host to Surrey Storm Netball formerly Brunel Hurricanes, who also made the move to the sports park from Guilford Spectrum in 2010. Surrey Storm are two-time Netball Super League champions, securing their last title with a 55–53 win over Manchester Thunder at London's Copper Box Arena in the 2016 Grand Final. It played host to all but four matches of the 2010 Women's Rugby World Cup. The semi-finals, third-place play-off, and final were held at the Twickenham Stoop. It is also the official training facility for Harlequins Rugby Club, playing host to their men's and women's first teams plus academy fixtures, and was used as a training base for the 2015 Rugby World Cup, hosting a number of teams including South Africa, Scotland and Italy. 2012 saw Surrey Sports Park host a number of Olympic and Paralympic teams in preparation for the London 2012 Olympic Games, including delegations from across the globe for swimming, table tennis, basketball, and triathlon camps. In 2013, Surrey Sports Park hosted the annual Danone Nations Cup Junior Football Tournament, with fixtures being played on the outdoor pitches through to the finals at Wembley Stadium. In 2017 Surrey Sports Park hosted the Women's Lacrosse World Cup, with over 25 nations competing for the world title in Guilford. All matches took place at the venue, including the finals, with a temporary outdoor stadium erected for the 10 day event. The university's student sports teams participate in an annual sports festival called the Varsity Games. Team Surrey competes against Royal Holloway, University of London in the yearly event, with Surrey Sports Park playing host on alternating years. Previous opponents included Kingston University, with Surrey winning all events since its debut in 2010. The sports park also hosts weekly British universities and colleges sport events throughout the semester. Topic. Organization and governance The academic activities of the university are divided into the following three faculties. Topic. Governance 
Prince Edward, Duke of Kent was installed as Chancellor, a ceremonial non-residential post, in 1977. The university is led at the executive level by the President and Vice-Chancellor, as of 2016 Max Liu. The key bodies in the university governance structure are the Council, Senate and Executive Board. The Council is the governing body of the university, responsible for the overall planning and management of the university and to ensure processes are in place to monitor financial and operational controls, and the university's performance against its strategy. The council is composed of no fewer than 11 external members, up to seven ex officio members, and up to three members elected by Senate. The Senate is the statutory body responsible for governing the university's academic matters, including teaching and research, and the regulation and direction of the education and conduct of students. The composition of the Senate is drawn from the academic staff of the university, together with a number of ex officio, elected and co-opted members. The chair of the Senate is the president and vice-chancellor of the university, the executive board is the senior advisory body that assists the president and vice-chancellor in discharging his executive authority to manage the operations and affairs of the university. It is responsible for advising on all matters relating to the university's strategy and for making recommendations to council for approval. The above bodies are supported by a series of committees that oversee the activities of distinctive administrative and academic areas of the university. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Vice Chancellor On 3 December 2015 it was announced that G.Q. Max Liu would become the university's fifth president and vice-chancellor, taking up his appointment in April 2016. He succeeded Sir Christopher Snowden who moved to take up the vice-chancellorship at the University of Southampton in September 2015. Sir Christopher joined Surrey on 1 July 2005. His predecessors are Patrick J. Dowling, 1994 to 2005; Anthony Kelly, 1975 to 1994; and Peter Leggett, the last principal of Battersea College of Technology and the university's first vice chancellor. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Academic profile. Topic research The university conducts extensive research on small satellites, with its Surrey Space Center and spin-off commercial company, Surrey Satellite Technology Limited. In the 2001 research assessment exercise, the University of Surrey received a 5 asterisk rating in the categories of sociology, other studies and professions allied to medicine, and electrical and electronic engineering, and a 5 asterisk rating in the categories of psychology, physics, applied mathematics, statistics and operational research, European studies, and Russian, Slavonic and East European languages. The 5G Innovation Center 5GIC at the University of Surrey opened in September 2015, for the purpose of research for the development of the first worldwide 5G network. It has gained over £40 million support from international telecommunications companies including Aeroflex, MYCOMOSI, BBC, BT Group, EE Telecommunications Company, Fujitsu Laboratories of Europe, Huawei, Ofcom, Rode & Schwartz, Samsung, Telefonica and Vodafone, and a further £11.6 million from the Higher Education Funding Council for England HEF CE. In addition, the Surrey Research Park is a 28 hectares low-density development which is owned and developed by the university, providing large landscaped areas with water features and facilities for over 110 companies engaged in a broad spectrum of research, development and design activities. 
The university generates the third highest endowment income out of all UK universities reflecting its commercially orientated heritage. Topic awards In 1991 the university was granted the Queen's Award for Export Achievement, and in 1996 it was awarded a Queen's Anniversary Prize for Higher and Further Education in recognition of the university's outstanding achievement in satellite engineering and communications, teaching and research by the Centre for Satellite Engineering Research and its associated companies. In 1998 Surrey Satellite Technology Limited was awarded the Queen's Award for Technological Achievement. This was presented in person by the Queen on her second visit to the university, accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh and the Duke of Kent, Chancellor of the University. More recently, the university was awarded a 2002 Queen's Anniversary Prize for Higher and Further Education, this time for its research and development on optoelectric devices and ion beam applications. The university has a high number of staff who are academicians of the Learn Societies, 10 Fellows of the Royal Society, 21 Fellows of the Royal Academy of Engineering, 1 Fellow of the British Academy, and 6 Fellows of the Academy of Social Sciences. In July 2007, the university was awarded Fair Trade University status by the Fair Trade Foundation. The university won a 2011 Queen's Anniversary Prize for Higher and further education for its research into the fields of safe water and sanitation. In 2013, the Electronic Engineering Department of the University won the 2013 Electra Award University Department of the Year, and judged to be the most innovative and successful in Europe. In 2016, the university won the Sunday Times University of the Year Award. The university won a 2017 Queen's Anniversary Prize for Higher and further education for leading research and teaching in food and nutrition informing public policy on diabetes, obesity, osteoporosis and other dietary related issues. Admissions New students entering the university in 2015 had the 14th highest UCAS points in the UK at 438 points the equivalent of AAB at a level and BB at as level. According to the 2017 Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide, approximately 8% of Surrey's undergraduates come from independent schools. For the 2016 17 academic year, the university has a higher proportion of female than male students with a male to female ratio of 45 to 55 in the population. The undergraduate student body is composed of 73% from the UK, 11% from the EU and 16% from outside of the EU. More students graduate from Surrey with a first class honors degree, 44.4% than with a 2 to 1 degree, 40.9%, placing it second amongst mainstream British universities by the proportion of first class degrees awarded. Topic reputation and rankings The university has consistently been in the top 30 of the three main ranking compilations of universities in the United Kingdom, placing between 19th and 23rd for 2018–19. International rankings have seen a steady improvement over the past five years. Subjects ranked in the top 10 include hospitality and tourism, food science, electronic engineering, and drama and dance. Educational links Since its foundation, the university has fostered links with other educational bodies in the local community and region. The university currently validates undergraduate courses at Farnborough College of Technology and postgraduate research programs at St. Mary's University, Twickenham for students entering prior to August 2014.
In 2007, the university and Dongbei University of Finance and Economics in Dalian, China, launched the Surrey International Institute (DUFE). The SII at DUFE offers Surrey degrees and dual degree programs in China. A placement year link with North Carolina State University was initiated in 2009, where each institution places students from the other with companies located nearby, in the southeast of England and the Carolinas, respectively. International partners The university holds a number of formal links with institutions from around the world to share teaching and research and facilitate staff and student exchanges. University of São Paulo, Brazil Seoul National University, South Korea University of Central Florida, USA Pakistan University of Punjab North Carolina State University, USA The DUFE — Surrey International Institute Dongbei Kai Jing Da Shui Sa Li Guo Ji Shui Yuan is an academic partnership with the Dongbei University of Finance and Economics in Dalian, China University of Hong Kong Nanyang Technological University National Autonomous University of Mexico Modul University Vienna, Austria Notable academics and alumni Notable alumni Topic Notable Academics Academics to work at the university include Alf Adams, pioneer of the strained quantum well laser, Jim Al Khalili, the nuclear physicist, author and broadcaster, Alex Krotoski, the technology journalist and broadcaster, Sir Martin Sweeting, founder of Surrey Satellite Technology Limited, and Nigel Gilbert, the sociologist pioneer in the use of agent based models in the social sciences. In 1971, Daphne Jackson became the first female UK professor of physics. On 20 May 2009, Andreas Mogensen, a researcher at the Surrey Space Centre, was announced as a new member of the European Astronaut Corps, part of the European Space Agency, thereby becoming the first Danish astronaut. In February 2011, terrorism and Northern Ireland expert Marie Breen Smith joined the Politics Department as Chair in International Relations. In March 2005, Breen Smith, then Smith, gave evidence to the House of Commons Northern Ireland Affairs Committee inquiry into dealing with Northern Ireland's past. Another notable academic was the late translation studies scholar Peter Newmark, one notable academic who is known for his work in nanotechnology as Ravi Silva. Ravi Silva is the current director of the Advanced Technology Institute at the university. In 2003, he was awarded the Albert Einstein Silver Medal and the Javed Hussain Prize by UNESCO for contributions to electronic devices. The 2011 Clifford Patterson Lecture was given by Silva because of his outstanding contributions to basic science and engineering in the field of carbon nanoscience and nanotechnology. The lecture is given annually on any aspect of engineering. The General Electric Company Limited endowed the lecture in 1975 in honor of Clifford Patterson who undertook the creation of the GEC Research Laboratories in 1919. Other notable academics who have delivered the lecture include Frank Kelly and Richard Friend, both from the University of Cambridge. 
Surrey's Centre for Environment and Sustainability established by Roland Clift in 1992 as the Centre for Environmental Strategy gained attention with the publication of Prosperity Without Growth in 2009 by University of Surrey academic Tim Jackson, Professor of Sustainable Development and Director of the ESRC Research Group on Lifestyles, Values and Environment. In October 2018, the University of Surrey reported that writer and filmmaker Ian Sinclair had been appointed Distinguished Writer in Residence with their School of Literature and Languages. <laughs> <laughs> student life Students' <laughs> <laughs> Union <laughs> 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 The University of Surrey Students' Union is the sole representative body of Surrey students. They represent students on academic and welfare issues, as well as administering sports clubs and societies. The union was incorporated as a non-profit charity in July 2011, so any takings from the union's four commercial outlets are invested in supporting the membership side of the business. Four zones exist within the organization representing support, voice, community and activity, with a sabbatical officer managing each one, as well as a president who is a member of the university council. The Students' Union also organize events on a weekly basis which are held at their venues including Rubik's and the basement for students to take part in. In 2017, the university was specifically identified in the report by the Free Speech University Rankings as having unfamiliar Restrictions on free speech because of a collection of its union bylaws regarding university mascot Steve the Stag. The mascot is not allowed to be depicted by students to be drinking, smoking, or, as the report and subsequent articles directly quote, involved in lewd acts. Topic: <laughs> Media. STAGTV is the television station run by students at the University of Surrey. It is primarily run from offices on the main Stag Hill campus and it also creates content for the Students' Union, through which it is a constitute group, but has editorial independence. Other student media on campus include Stag Radio and The Stag, a monthly student magazine. Originally established as a newspaper under the name Bear Facts in 1967, the newspaper was rebranded in 2008. Topic: See also University of Surrey portal List of public art in Surrey Lewis Elton Gallery